Okay everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this laptop before you. Uh, this laptop is a Dell Latitude E6410. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell you this story has a little, or this laptop has a little bit of a backstory on this channel. So, uh, about a year ago, I made a video on this exact same laptop model. Um, I thought that it was the same laptop, but uh, I actually went back and rewatched that video and realized that I actually had two different Dell Latitude E6410s. Uh, the previous one I made a video on was more or less in the same condition. Uh, the keyboard was a little bit more worn on that one. Uh, the battery was the smaller cell battery and uh, the last feature which pretty much told it apart from this one is that the BIOS was locked. Uh, this one the BIOS is unlocked so I can do things on it. Uh, so I guess let's go ahead and take a look at the ports that we have on this computer. So over here on this side I have a 1394 followed by a DVD RW drive. Of course these are the removable ones so if you you know had a floppy drive or what have you stick it in there. Network switch, audio ports, and two USBs. On the back here, we have a telephone, but it's blocked up. Um, a Ethernet, our battery. Then over here, we have a display port. Over here, we have a VGA, two USBs, but one of these is a USB -E SATA combo, vent, smart card reader, and then the hard drive bay is down here. And I forgot to mention, over on this side, we also have a express card reader. And on the front, you will find your latch and your SD card reader. I guess we'll go ahead and flip this over and flip the machine over here. Uh, the thickness is nothing to write home about, but it's also not super thick. It's also not super thin. Um, uh, this laptop is made out of metal probably aluminum or something of the sorts. Um, the later Dell Business Class machines, like the E6420 and so on, are actually made out of magnesium. So that's kind of interesting, but this one does not have the magnesium build, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty easy to get in the back of the machine. You just unscrew this one screw here. It's actually spring, so it will not come out. And then you just slide the, the cover off. Uh, I'm missing a few screws, so there might actually be more. The hard drive bay is not screwed in, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and flip it back over here. Let's go ahead and plug it in as well. And open the machine up. So I actually wanted to touch on a feature, uh, the Dell Latitude On feature. Uh, that's a button right here next to the power button. Um, it is a second operating system because back when this computer was new, it took about a minute or two to open up Windows, and that was a you know, that could be tedious, and if you just wanted to look up a quick thing on Google, for example, this is the Linux-based operating system, where you just hit that, Linux-based uh, operating system would pop up, and you could, you know, do whatever you want on there. So let's go ahead and boot up into the BIOS here. Camera's going weird. Anyway, here we go. So the lines in the screen are just the camera. Uh, the computer's not actually having those lines. It's something to do with the refresh rate or what have you. 2 gigs of RAM. Core i5 M580 at 2.6 gigahertz. I put a 160 gig hard drive in here. Uh, I made a video, uh, probably one or two videos back. Talked about how, um, or talked about, or showed me installing windows and all that kind of stuff on here. Uh, the battery health is actually there. This battery does hold a charge, uh, which is kind of impressive um, considering how old this machine is. This machine is about circa 2010, so nine years old. Let's go ahead and boot up.
here we are. Okay, here we are. Uh, here's the system properties. Everything you've already seen. Um, I mean, 64 bit windows. I got Windows 10 Pro on this because that's what the key had. Uh, I got a few applications on here, as you can see. Oh, what happened? I have a few applications here, as you can see Chrome, ISO Burner, um, Dell Support Assistant. Um, ISO Burner, since this has a rewritable drive, I can burn, you know, Windows 7 disks or what have you. So, really, that's about it. Um, it runs fairly decent on this computer. An SSD would help the cause a lot, and maybe up in RAM also would help a lot, but overall it runs okay. So anyway, uh, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.